Welcome back. In this video, I want to show you how you can automate your workflow, like opening files, switching between files with uh, NeoVim. So it's very common to set up like a keystroke to start off some, some workflow, but sometimes you'll find that you'll need a little bit of input into your workflow. So you need to either prompt the user or ask the user for a choice. And this is where something called vim.ui, that's a Lua uh, namespace that is provided by NeoVim, has a few functions that I want to show you how you can use. So VimUI provides the ability to, to take input of text. It provides the ability to do like a confirmation, like a yes, no kind of question, or even to select from uh, multiple choices. So first we'll look at um, input. And so the problem that I want to solve is that it's very common to create uh, files in some place in your app. I mean, this could be, in my case, I'm using a SvelteKit app, but this could be Ruby, it could be Next.js. And in the SvelteKit app, when I want to create a route, I put a folder inside um, SRC routes and, you know, I give it a name, like, I don't know, team member, and then I have to do a page.svelte. So I'd like to save a little bit of this uh, type of stuff um, and create a plugin to do so that I, all I would have to type is, is this part, the team member, and then the rest um, I'm hoping that could be done for me. And so what we can do is we can call vimui input, which is a function that will prompt the user for a route, or in this case, it can be any label we want, but we'll call it route, and then it will call back with the text that was entered. So in our case, it's a path. Then using that, we will create the route using mkdir, and then we will open up that file by concatenating it with page.svelte. And so we'll wrap all this inside a function called create route, and then we'll set up a key map so that uh, we'll have a shortcut, in our, my case, comma C, leader C, leader's always comma. So now I can type comma C and you see it asked me for the new route. I can say we want a route and team member and there, there it went and it created the, uh, the path, the folder was created for me, you see, and the file was also created. Great, so now let's look at the next one which is confirmation. So asking a yes, no kind of question. And the problem that I want to solve is that you see that when I'm inside a page that's felt, um, it's empty and I want to start it off with a default template. So I have um, some uh, Vim uh, snippets that I've set up with Lua Snip. See that I do have some snippets for Svelte. I have one here called Page. And so it would be nice if by default, it would just use that. It would ask me, is it okay to use the default template and then insert it. So let's see how we could do that. What I would do is I would define a list of all the different patterns that I'm looking for and what the default snippet should be. So if I'm going to a page.svelte, use the page snippet. If I go into a layout.svelte, use the layout snippet, right? And then we could define some logic to find the snippet. And of course it's kind of based on Lua snippet, but essentially walking through the list of all the patterns that we support and then finding the one that matches the pattern and then using that snippet. What we can also do is set up an auto command. So this basically says that um, an auto command is like an event handler, which basically says on this event, so that when we create a new buffer, a new file, to call back on this function. So that means when we open a new file, it will call this function maybe insert snippet, and that'll look like this. It'll basically be a function that takes in the event. So that's, that's coming from the auto command. And using the event, we can look at event file. So that's the current file and we can call that function we defined before to find the snippet for that file. Now, if there's no snippet, then we want to bail. But if we do find a snippet, then we should ask the user, hey, can we use the snippet, right? And that'll look like this. So we'll, we'll piggyback off UI input again, but uh, this time um, we'll default the value to Y, and then we'll check the value. If it's not Y, we'll bail. Otherwise, we'll use Lua snip to insert the snippet at that location. So let's see what that looks like. So if I create a file inside SRC routes, uh, let's call it about page.svelte, you see it asks me, do you want to use the, the default template? So that was the thing we just implemented. If I hit yes, you see it inserted the snippet and even the tab stops work. So I can hit tab and it will go through all my markers that are in the snippet. So that's pretty cool. And then even if it's a different thing, like, and so imagine instead of a page, I opened a layout.svelte you see that the snippet is different, right? So it knows which, which snippet to use based on the pattern of the, of the file name. And this can even be combined with our previous uh, thing that if I say comma C to create a new route like foo bar, 
you see it now asks me, do you want to use a default template? So they, they're kind of working together. And so the last thing I want to leave you with is select. So this is a way to make um, choices. So the problem that I want to solve is that oftentimes you have related files. For example, in Svelte, the related files are page.svelte, page.ts, page.server.ts. And for maybe in Rails, it's like the model and the test file. So it would be nice to be able to just easily switch between these related uh, files. So what I'll do is I'll set up a key map again and we'll map a comma dot to open related file. It will look something like this. We'll have this function that for now we will hard code the list of related files, but in reality, you should probably soft code it with a function, but I'll leave that off for now. And then we'll call Vim UI select and we'll pass it in the list of items that it should show the prompt. And then when it's done, it will call back. We'll figure out the directory and then we'll edit the file. And so let's see what that looks like. If I do comma dot, you'll see that now it gives me a list and I can easily switch between these files. Now that doesn't look very nice. But one thing you can do to make it look a lot better is if you have the FCF plugin, you can use FCF Lua and say uh, register UI select. And that's gonna use FCF instead of the default UI. And so now if I hit comma dot, you'll see that I get FCF. And so it's much easier to type, uh, you know, if I want TS file, I hit enter and now it calls my auto command. So you see everything's kind of working connected together. All right, so there you have it. Those are a couple uh, workflows. I hope that they help you make your editing a little uh, faster. And uh, don't forget to uh, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more of these videos, uh, hit subscribe. All right, cheers, see you in the next one. Bye.